Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Tech Tajendra. We are currently on Red Hat Ansible tutorial series. In this video, we will discuss Ansible handlers. So what is Ansible handlers? How to use these Ansible, Ansible handlers? Okay, so let's we go ahead. So uh, to start with, this is our AWS Ansible setup. I have set up all the uh, Ansible environment in the AWS cluster. So I am using uh, four machines, four virtual machines here. One machines I have made as a control node and three machine I am using as a managed host, okay? So for first three machine I have, I am having operating system kind Ubuntu, okay? And uh, for one machine I have installed um, RHEL, okay? Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Okay, in my control node, I am having these two files, ansible.configurations files and the inventory file. Okay, in this inventory, you can see host one, host two, and the host three. So let me go ahead. So, ansible handlers. What is ansible handlers? Handlers are tasks that respond to a notification triggered by the another task. So, why we need a handlers? There, there are many kind of tasks or many kind of, uh, you can say, suppose, let me give you an example. You need to install a package in your operating system or in your machine. Okay, and after installing this uh, uh, package, you need to update some kind of configurations file, right? So, so a task which is depending on some another task okay so so that's why we need the handlers okay so once i will show you the example and the demonstration it, the things will be clear to you okay but uh, let for first know few things about the handlers task constantly notify uh, their handler when the task change something on managed host okay so means handlers will be notified once, once a task changes something on the managed host, kind of uh, it might be changing a file, it might be installing some package, it might be starting some service, okay? Maybe when we are starting a service, it's also require updates in a configuration or a property file, okay? So once you do this task of starting the service, so once this task will finish, then you will trigger a handler, okay? To do the some task, okay, after, 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 um, after first task has been complete, okay. Then each handler has a global unique name, okay. So, okay, so it should have a global unique name. Handler triggered at the end of the block of task in a playbook, okay. So this is the important thing. So we are having, uh, once we start writing the playbook, we are having the tasks, okay, task one, task two, and task three. Okay, once all these, suppose in task one, we are also triggering the handler, okay? So once the task one will complete, the task two will start and the task three will start and all the tasks in the stack once get finished, only the handlers will start, okay? So what handler you are calling? You are calling the handler from the task one, okay? So once all the task one, task two, task three will finished, only then handler will start, okay? So that is the very important point you need to be noted. Uh, if no task notify the handler by name, then handler will not. Whether you have written handler in your playbook, okay? If task is not notifying the handler, handler will not run, okay? Handler is also kind of task, okay? We, we consider it, okay? If one or more tasks notify the handler, the handler will run exactly once, okay? Suppose you are having four tasks in your playbook, task one, task two, task three, task four. Task one and task four are uh, notifying the handler one, okay? In that case, once all the tasks will finished, means task one, task two, task three, and task four, then the hardened handler will start, but it will run only one time, okay? Because in your task, task one and task two are is calling the same handlers, okay? So keep note all these points. So let me move ahead here. This is our problem statement as in our, our every video, we solve a problem of a, 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 a Ansible problem. So in this uh, tutorial, we will solve this one. Install uh, MariaDB server on, at host one, okay? So we need to install this MariaDB package into the host one machine only, okay? Then start MariaDB service, set database ID and password, okay? So let me start here. So uh, for it, uh, let me show you. Okay, so I have created a GitHub 
repository for ansible tutorials in this repository you can find all the playbooks which we, which i am uh, writing uh, to demonstrate all the uh, problems and everything to you so if you want then you can go there in the repository and can copy all these eml files if you want okay so all eml code and playbooks are there uh, this is my AWS environment as I shown you. So as of now, I am running the control node machine and the manage host one machine. Okay, because in our problem, we just need to um, install package in the host one only. That's why I ran these two machines only. So uh, let me move ahead. Okay, so this is my control node. Okay, this is my control node. Okay, um, so let me first do let me first uh get tch okay so let me show you here in the in the repository this file i have already written okay to save our time so this is the file this is the playbook which will which is the solution of our problem okay so in the vim uh, let me show you in the uh, in the control node itself okay so let me first fetch all the files from the git repository okay so now we are having our handlers file here okay so let me go inside vim okay so this is our file okay so let me again go to our problem statement install maria db server at host one okay so we have started our um, um, uh, playbook host is the host one okay so this this these all these tasks will be done in the host one only okay then uh, i have i am using variable okay db package so i am using maria db server and python 3 my sql db okay and db services maria db so these are the variables here then task okay so uh, name it is it will uh, it is it will means uh, uh, it will run two times okay because it is a list okay db packages is the list okay so um, it, it 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 will run two times okay as you can see uh, here okay it is it is taking this variable and this is the list so two times it will run and uh, uh, first time it will um, install maria db server and second time it will uh, install uh, python 3 uh, mysql db okay and uh, and then here uh, see the notify okay so once this task will run it will notify set db password and this set db password is the handler's name okay you can see here handlers okay we are, okay task starting from here ending from here in this playbook we are having two tasks one these both tasks will finish only then handlers will start only and only if handler is notified by one of at least one of the tasks okay so our this task is notifying the handler okay by notify um, statement and uh, the name of the handler set db password and this is the name of handler set db password so so after this task it is notifying the handlers okay then ansible will start working on this task the service okay and service module and this service module will start this maria db service okay this is uh, using the variable okay and once both the tasks will finish then handlers will start set db password and then it will use my sql user module and will set name as root and password as red hat okay so let me go ahead and and uh, uh, execute this playbook okay so uh, let me first check our uh, syntax okay in our play, uh, in our playbook okay so for it and see well playbook is the command handlers dot yml is our playbook and then use the syntax check argument here okay so our playbook is clean okay so no error in the is in it so let me run our playbook now okay so it is gathering the fact first okay so because we are running it into the only single host okay so 
uh, okay now it's started the task okay so because we are running in the single host that is it is it is uh, it has gathered fact for the single host only okay now it's starting the packages okay so you can see here it has changed okay so these two uh, packages has been installed one is maria db server and python 3 mysql db on this machine okay and now you can check is after it it ran the service okay okay and once service is run then it is so so as i told you first it will run both the task only then it will come to the handler okay then it's come to the handler running handler set to password okay then it also change the password for this okay so now our mariadb server has been installed in in our managed host so let me check whether it get installed uh, correctly or not okay so for it uh, this is the uh, ssh command to connect my managed host uh, let me open uh, power window okay let me connect make the ssh connection okay so it is connected so uh, let me check whether our mariadb has been installed or not okay so i am giving the command my sql minus u is root and we will use password so i am giving my minus p and password we have given red hat okay let me also uh, show you uh, in the uh, uh, in the handlers here okay so username is root and password is red hat okay so i have given red hat password let me enter it okay so now we are connected to our maria db server okay Okay, so you have connected successfully and MariaDB is working good with the username, root and password. Okay, so that's all for this video. In the next video, we will uh, discuss more about the Ansible. Thank you.